What's up guys, today I'm going to be doing a, uh, uh, video on, um, well, uh, kind of a surprise guest. I don't want to tell you him right now, but it's a surprise. I want to find him before. He eats worms and sometimes lizards. He is a reptile, I will give you that one. It is not an alligator. Yeah, I can't do that, I'm not allowed to. My parents say I can't. You might have seen his tail. Oh my gosh, did you eat on him? I'm not sure if that's a word. You might have seen his tail, which is. Well, if you guys can guess, what do you guys think it would be? Come on. Thumbs up if you're thinking snake. Subscribe if you're thinking lizard this is the green anal that i showed in one of my previous videos he just got out uh if you watch and you're a normal watcher then you know that i have a green anal with in the kit in my reptile kit he actually just shed <gasps> get back here He's turning green, so I'll put him back in there. I'm actually gonna also grab his leaf so he can blend in more. I might actually do their water again. They run out of water like every single day. I was like, come on, keep your water in there. Yes, so if you guys are ready to see him, here he is. <laughs> if he said snake, you were wrong, and if he said lizard, you are wrong. This is a legless lizard. So now you have to subscribe and thumbs up. Yeah, I should have said that. I should have said subscribe, subscribe and thumbs up if you think it's just a totally different thing. It looks like an eel, though. If you look at his face and you've ever seen an eel, it kind of looks like an eel. But this is a, in fact, legless lizard. This is not a snake. Most snakes have rounded. There are some green snakes that have pointed and some brown snakes, all sorts of color snakes. But this is, in fact, a legless lizard. Uh, a bunch of people have told me it's a legless lizard. Um, I've had him for a while. Uh, last time I tried to do this video, he actually twisted himself. Are you- He's like trying to rattle his tail. He's not a rattlesnake. If he was a rattlesnake, then he would have bit me and I would have been in the hospital right now. Um, but- You cannot come out. I'm sorry. They have been sitting in the sun so he's really warm and he's really hyped up. I told him we were gonna do this video and he was super excited. He was running around it. He was um, slithering around his cage like crazy. He was sitting on his coconut. He was going in his coconut. He was just going crazy when I told him we were going to do this video on him. But uh, he's a rescue. My friend actually rescued him and gave him to me because he knows I love animals. And he knows I'll put them safely in a container and feed them. I put two huge and one small worm in there for him to eat. So he has stuff to eat. Um, the thing I'm actually gonna get some meal arms for him today hopefully um yeah I'm gonna call my mom and ask her if she'll pick up me pick up some meal worms for me she might not but I'll still ask her um uh, because yeah uh but yeah this is the little guy now uh he actually got attacked by a cat you can see he's got a bunch of marks on him Oh, don't do that. You're gonna hurt yourself. There's a bunch of marks on him. Oh, he's never done that before. He has a bunch of marks on his stomach. Stum stomach, not tummock. Stomach. Um. And where is his side? On his side, you can sort of see there's like a mark. Right there. Uh, that's where he was bleeding last time. Something got a hold of his tail and ripped it off. Um, I think it was Eddie. I think my neighbors are playing. I'm not sure. But yeah, he's he's just chilling now. It's really hot out today. Like I yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna uh, clean their cage in this video. So yeah, let's get to it. No, I'm actually not because I need dirt and I don't have. A actually, I do. I'll see you guys in a minute. I got it, and I'm gonna get. 
he's in the water dish. You make life. No, oh, come on. Why do you have to ruin it? You made life. Really... So put their water dish in there because I don't know how long it's going to take me. Then I'm going to grab my little greenie. He's right there. He's going to jump on you guys. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to go back in his cage so I can get it. Okay, maybe I'll do him last because he's jumping and I want to show him the cage real quick. But he's in there now. And I'm going to try to get my greenie. Right now he's brown. Come on, jump on me, jump on me. You're, if you're not gonna jump on me, I'm gonna have to grab you. Okay, I'm gonna shut that. Ah, so he doesn't get out. Come on. So first up, I'm gonna start out with dumping this in. Uh, so all that sand is dumped. So I'm gonna get a bucket. Uh, hi, bye. I have this bucket, and I'm gonna go grab some dirt. Cleaning something. So my uh, next door neighbor is right there, and she's asking me a bunch of questions. Now usually I talk to her, but I'd like to get this cage done because I don't have that much storage. Uh, so it, in the video, I don't want the video taking forever. I have to walk across. Over here we have a bunch of sand and dirt. A bunch of sticks too, and I'm coming over here, but so pray for me. Guys. This is unexpected as well. Little egg. It's cracked, but it's Make sure there's a bunch of them. I don't know what they're doing over here, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm trying to figure out oh, because there's a bunch of things running over hat. Okay, this scares me. It's uncomfortable. Ah, this place is so creepy. I don't like it. Okay, I'm gonna pause you guys and fill my thing up. Okay, so our thing is near the street, sort of, and the guy just passed and was watching me talk to my camera. Bunch of sand on you guys. Laid you guys in the sand pictures. Oh, I thought that was snake skin. I was like, that's a big snake. No, it was just a piece of fabric. There's like 60 different lizards in over here. Wait, is that one our little guys? I just saw an African rainbow lizard. Now, those things I think are on the I'm not sure if they're on the band list. They might be. Everything's on the band list. For Florida. Well, all the cool animals, anyway. At least alligators are. People used to have those as pets. Okay. Turn my water on. And I want it to be nice and moist. Stuff. So I just sprayed it a little bit with some water. Not much. And then I'm gonna grab like a stick or something. I wanna make sure that it's not mud. Shaking it around. See you guys in one minute. So I did that, and I got this huge chunk of roots in it. So I shaked it, shook it like this, so that it would like get all the roots off. And now I'm gonna place it into the into that bin. So see you guys in a minute. Dumped it in. I had a little bit of sand on the bottom. Dumped it in. Now I'm gonna set up their terrain. So first I'm gonna put their coconut in. Put like a little pat down. Add some grass for a green animal, like a green area. For our green animal, our, my lizard likes to sit in it. I, a legless lizard likes to sit in it too. But just a green area for him to sit. And then our little basking rock will go right over here. Which my thing also likes to sit under. Um, this is gonna be where the water goes. I'm gonna grab the leaves. These little green leaves on my green animal likes to blend into. I'm actually gonna put this on top of the coconut or just like that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna see I'm gonna try to get some of that white rock stuff. So let's go. Uh, I'll see you guys when I'm over by the white rock stuff. Guys, I decided not to do that because I think that stuff it might be a little bit poisonous or something. I don't know if it's just sand. 
might be just saying I saw lizards running on it, but I'd like to be on the safe side and not do that. So that's their setup. Now I'm gonna see how they like it and fill up their water. I mean, they have like no water, so what fill up their water too. You guys right there? Just while I get them out, I'm gonna take the snake first or my legless lizard because he looks like he really wants to get into his cage. So we're gonna see how he likes it. I'm gonna put him up here on the rock, see what he does. So he's just like, okay, um, <laughs> little clueless. Probably gonna go in the coconut. Maybe, yeah, okay. He's thinking about it. And yeah, he went into the coconut. Now this is really moist. I did spray it with a little bit of water so that it wouldn't be really dry. And now we're gonna put in, oh! Oh yay, he turned green! Come on, bub. He actually, when I first got it, when I first, when we first got him, he was all nippy. Now he's all, he's better. Ah! He was excited. He just jumped in. He couldn't wait. Couldn't wait for me to get him in there. He actually just shed, which I'm really excited about. So I'm going to grab their water. Maybe I'll put a little bit of wetness in there some more. I'm going to shut it, and I'm going to go get them some water. So I always spray it down with the hose so that it gets clean a little bit. I know they don't have clean water in the wild, but I give my animals that I clean, I give them clean water. Oh, I forgot to turn the water off. <gasps> Throw that down. They seem to like it, because uh, sometimes when I'm doing this, the other lizards will come and they'll like drink it off the leaves. Leaves. I'm not even sure how to pronounce it anymore. I'm done. Put it right there where I said I was going to. Pat down some sand so it looks pretty normal. And this is the finished terrarium setup. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications and leave a huge thumbs up. Uh, um, don't forget to press the D and go watch all my other videos and give those ones thumbs up. Well, yeah, guys, my animals really excited. My animal was really excited to be our star in this. So I hope you guys like this. See y'all next time. Goodbye.